today we're gonna watch a little video of uh, equipment loading just for a minute don't you like my uh, bald head and my nice orange shirt so try them truck and try them uh, low boy and he's gonna load on that uh, dangle head processor maybe it's just me but I love watching equipment get moved and all that kind of stuff so The issue with loading the stuff is making sure the trailers are never wide enough for the machine. You got to make sure that you're not making any mistakes because you can slip and slide off. John Deere 2145, that one is. What he's doing there. Guess he's getting lined up. I'm gonna pause it for half a second so the video isn't six hours long with nothing happening. So they finished all the logging and uh, hauled out uh, the buncher and the skidder already. So on the right hand side there is a D7 cat and then on the other side of him you can see the, ca the cab poking up is his button top loader. And then a dangle head processor, and then two delimmers, and then another skidder. So that'll be a 10 foot wide trailer. With air ride, you drop your suspension so the trailer drops down as low as possible. It's more stable and not as high. And if you got a, a hoe, you lift the front of your machine with the hoe so you don't have to climb on just pure ugly. What he's done is he's got himself straight and dead and lined up. No, you're gonna move, so he's checking, he's gotta get her just perfect. And then uh, I would assume he will, he may swing his boom around the other way to get some weight until he climbs on a tiny bit and then swing back so he can watch what he can see. So that's a 10 wide trailer. And look at how wide he is compared to the machine. He's wider than the machine. Right? This is where you have to be very, very careful. Because if you slide wrong, you flop it over and tip the machine over. So he's just halfway on spin. That would make me lose my nerve. Look how far he is hanging off the edge there. Those tracks are only half on the, on both sides because the machine is so wide, right? And now he swings his boom way down and out, get some weight on there, climb on a tiny bit more. Just so she comes over ground. And that just makes you sick watching that even. It's so close to losing control. There, that feels better. There is absolutely no error for room for error and no room for getting rammy or getting her too fast and heavy, or you'll have a wreck. And that is how it's done when you're good at it. And when you're bad, that's how you spend a half a million dollars wrecking something. You 
see he's got a rubber on the deck. I sure hope I'm not covering up the microphone, that would suck. And that keeps a little more, because the steel on steel, if it slides, it'll just slide away on you and you can fall right off the trailer. It's a horrible danger. Boom, hanging out there past the track. He swings around until he gets his weight right, which he knows by experience about where it should be. And he'll raise the boom up, get the uh, processor close to him, and then swing around and put it behind him. That's what I guess he's going to do. You never get in a hurry. So it's a John Deere 2154D. My hands are froze. Put that head down there however it goes which I don't know how it sits set on the floor. I don't know how those things lay down. I haven't a clue. Pull down and there it's touching in the transport. Put the boom on the trailer. She's down, stable, chain her down, away you go. So that's how it's done, I guess. Now we are both experts. I think he did an absolutely excellent job. I would have lost my nerve even trying to load it. And that's it. Now, Sunday night, I'm going home and having popcorn.